Good day, folks, and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joanne, and if you're watching this video, it's because you're interested to know more about Cisco Meraki technology and Cisco Meraki portfolio. But this video and this channel is for you. Here you can find in the link below a portal where you have the Cisco Meraki exam blueprint, and you're going to have a lot of videos in each one of these elements to give to you to know more about the Cisco Meraki technology and infrastructure. So if you want interest into that, and you have to know more tools, you have to know more about that specific technology system right portfolio, that place is the best one and this one will be below. And I hope they enjoy this video and see you in the next one. So now let's talk about the Cisco Meraki dashboard architecture. As any other architecture, we're gonna see as a high level and see all the elements that encompass the dashboard so you can understand the interface uh, in the overall. Here we have these block we can say with different elements inside what we can start is from the beginning when you log in to the dashboard the first thing is that you put your email address user login and your password so that is what it, this means so this is your meraki user account in the meraki user account that you have you will see everything inside of your dashboard and it's divided in different elements so first when you log in if you have just one organization, you will not see an organization page to select which one. If you have just one, it's gonna go right into your organization dashboard and probably you will see different networks. So once you log in, if you have more than one organization, you will see these two options. You can either select organization A or select organization B. And inside of each organizations, you have different networks. So here you can select organization A organization or network B sorry and organization B the same thing you have network A and network B so it's going to depend on how you want to configure your structure of all your networks on your dashboard but that's the hierarchical approach you're going to have your user accounts once you log into your user account you can select each organization when to check and inside of each organizations you're going to have a network so let's say that Bob has a user account. With that, we put that Bob has an org A and org B is going to be the same. And then in network A, network B, let's put network C and network D. So in org A, you have just network A and org B, you have network B and network C. And that's everything that Bob can see. We can have another person, Anna, and Anna then has access to her own organizations, organization C. And just in organization C, there is just one network, network D. So Anna cannot see the organizations and networks from Bob because he's a different user account and Bob cannot see any organization from Anna. That's how it's divided between all the user accounts that is inside of the Cisco dashboard. That's in a high level, but then you have ways to mix, match, and see other user names, other organizations, and other networks. So if we move here, that's another representation of the same part, but there's something in the middle here you can see that is MSP portal. So that's the managed service provider portal. What it means basically is that you can see more than one organizations when you logged in. So you have the same Meraki user account, but it's called in this graph administrator accounts, exactly the same. And once you log in, if you have access to different organizations, like say the same part of Bob, then you have organization A, organization B, and then organization C. Bob has different organizations and they have access to it. That's why when you log in, you will see the organization portal, the MSP portal. So you can select which organization you're going to start logging into. And let's put it that this has network A. This has network B. And this has network C. Right. The same thing happens here. Once you go in the MSP portal, you have different organizations that you can access to. And each one can have different networks. So let's say now we're going to check with Anna. So we have Anna. Anna has organization D and organization E. 
let's say network B and network E. So Anna has access to these two organizations. But then if you want to, as you have an IT team, let's say Bob wants to give access to Anna to organization B and network B. And you can do that. So then after that, you can get, have access to this one and therefore you're going to have access to this one. And then Anna wants to give access to Bob to organization E. So you can have access organization E and therefore you're going to have access to network E. So then the next time when Bob logs in is going to be organization A, B, C plus the E and then he's going to have access to that organization. That's why you have a managed service portal because you can have access to different organizations and networks at the same time. So that's the dashboard cloud architecture.